bit hazy today, you cannot see the Goldie because you can normally see the Pacific Ocean in that shot. But it is blowing an absolute gale. And why do I know that? Have a look how fast those clouds are moving. Now there is Rainbow Falls. Put a bit of water in there. And then if you look down here, there's a bit of a cascade running off the side. And then over there, behind the fellas, is Twin Falls, which we can actually walk down to the bottom of that. So there you go, we're at Canyon Lookout, Spring Brook, the Gold Coast hinterland. Grey Hemi Labroy, otherwise known as Grey Dog, is enjoying a quite a brisk summer's morning at uh, Springbrook in the Gold Coast hinterland. Anyway, we are here at the Goomalara waterfall, which is about an 80 metre drop off. Can't see the bottom. But then, that valley there, on a good day you can see the Gold Coast there. And Graham's doing some more happy stuff. I was going to fly here, but that wind is gusting at about a hundred kilometres or more up here. It is howling. You can probably hear it in the trees. Well, you can see it in the trees. Oh, put on the trees, make a liar of me. This is the um, stream that runs into Twin Falls. I'm going to go the other side of here. That is literally the um, drop off for Twin Falls. Then we'll be down the bottom in a minute. What are you looking at? Hang on. Well, I guess that's worthwhile getting your camera out for, Graham. Good collection of ferns there. Next crossover of this creek. That's where we were just before. Another waterfall coming down through here. And There's this for a little waterfall on the way to Twin Falls. Inside this little ravine with there's another waterfall just there. Isn't it? Graham's run out of space on his phone and taken too many photos and videos. Yeah, he's part of the track here where it's obviously a rock fall of some sort. It's turned into a great big cave. That you will walk, walk through. Echo, echo, echo. Bravo, bravo, bravo. We'll go, we'll go. There you go. So we've arrived at Twin Falls. hear all the noise from the cascade. Let's have a look at this.
sir, it's pretty waterfall. And of course, you can actually walk behind the waterfall. So, to the waterfall in front of us. We're directly behind the waterfall right now. And then you can see the overhang here. A little cascade there. What do you think, Graham? Very impressive, Ross. Eh? Uh, very good. <laughs> Great. Look at it. Graham overflowing his hard drive on his phone, as you do. We've had a lot of rain in the last week, so there's plenty of water coming over. The Twin Falls. And if we just go a little bit further along here, and get totally saturated because of the spray. How's that for a, uh, a little cascade in amongst the fern forest? Rossi here. Uh, I've just been giving um, Pig Dog, uh, Graham a uh, guided tour of the Twin Falls. So I might need to turn the camera around to see it. A lot of spray coming off the impact zone. What's the verdict? Okay. Bloody good fall. Uh, right, right you are. The Niagara, uh, just a tad smaller. But yes, it is quite a pretty spot. Yeah, a lot of swimming done down here when it's a hot day. Today is not one of those days. Back. Oh, now we're starting to head back. You can get a sense of scale with those people over there. And then what we're going to do is go bush bashing through here. We're now down in the lower rapids. You can see the twin falls in distance. Look at it. And then it's a cascade. Going down into the Narang Valley, I'm assuming. And there's Graham. Oh, hello there.